I have a question for you. It's a pretty important question. In fact, I believe it's a question that if you can answer, it can actually change the course of your life. The question is, do you know what it feels like to be your authentic self? Let me ask it another way. Do you spend most of your life being the real you, or do you find yourself wearing masks, pretending to be something that you're not, trying to be something for someone else? Do you spend your life acting in ways that contradict what you feel in your heart and your soul? I've come to learn that in order to be truly happy, and I mean truly, truly happy, it's essential that we become authentic. Let me rephrase that. It's essential that we live as our authentic selves. Looking back at my own life, I can't remember a time until the most recent past when I could actually feel comfortable being myself. I wondered why that was. Why couldn't I feel comfortable being myself? I realized that at a very early age, like most people, I was convinced that I had to be a certain way, act a certain way, even look a certain way to be accepted by the people in my life and by the world at large. And there were a lot of people who confirmed that for me, telling me how to speak, telling me what I had to do and what I had to know, and who I had to become to be literally accepted into this world. To all that conditioning, the real me, which was always in me, it always will be me, was buried deep in the recesses of my mind and my heart. It is my soul. It is your soul. The great thing about our souls is that they're changeless and eternal, and no one or no thing, no experience, no situation, even traumatic situations and experiences, can alter the changelessness and the eternalness of the souls that you and I share. Now that's some pretty awesome news. And if you've been unable for way too long to be your real self, to be authentic, know that there is a part of you that is authentic and that it's real. And that's the part, the part of each of us that is meant to shine. That is the part of each of us that I call our genius. It is that part of us that is literally connected to the universe and to all life, whatever form it takes. I know from personal experience that as I begin to let go of what I call my conditioning, in other words, the beliefs that I now have about myself and my world, and more importantly, as I let go of the emotions and feelings that are attached to the some 60,000 thoughts that I have every day, most of which, for a good part of my life, were negative in content, I realize that if I'm able to let go of those emotions and those feelings and feel them and be with them and release them and not resist them, that I know that underneath it all, the peeling away, the shedding of the onion, now all that's left is the true, real, authentic me. And most people resist being real. They'll even say, I can't be real. And the truth is, we all can be real. The challenge that we face is we won't be real because we're afraid of what the world will see. The truth is, however, the reality of who we are is not the reality of who we think we are. The reality of who you are and who I am is that we are children of the universe. Our unique nature is unconditional love, goodness, generosity, and overall well-being. But all that seems so foreign to so many of us foreign to too many of us. Therein lies the journey home. That's the journey home. It's going from who you think you are to who you really are. Despite what you may think in this very moment, or despite what anyone has told you in the past or continues to tell you, in this and every moment, you are magnificent. Boy, that's hard to get sometimes, isn't it? And sometimes circumstances, events, and experiences and the way we behave confirm the contrary. Sometimes there's a hideousness, an ugliness, a darkness that comes out of all of us. Know that it's okay to come from that place. It's been called the shadow side. The shadow in all of us has so many benefits. I believe the shadow is a gift. It is a part of the agreement we make with ourselves and our souls as we incarnate as humans in this lifetime and every other lifetime that we incarnate as a way of evolving, as a way of becoming enlightened, as a way to raise the consciousness of this planet so we can not only survive, we can thrive. Realizing this, 
I feel there is nothing more important than you uncover who you really are, your authentic self. All that's required is your willingness. If you say you can't, remember it means you really won't because you're being controlled within your mind by fears that tell you not to expose who you truly are because that person is not worthy of being happy, of thriving, of evolving and growing and living life enthusiastically, inspired by all the beauty that's the life, the one life has to offer all of us. Do not deny your part. Do not deny your part in this one life. You are a piece of it, and your piece is it. Imagine a part of you and a part of me that lives in peace and harmony, undisturbed by the physical third dimensional world. Many times I talk with clients and I describe to them what I call the fourth dimension. Now this is not some far off dimension, actually it follows you wherever you go. Imagine that there is another you walking alongside of you day in and day out from the moment you were born to the moment you leave your body. It walks alongside of you through the good and the bad. Interestingly enough though, no matter what you call good or what you call bad, that parallel person is always at peace, is always loving you and everyone and everything unconditionally and knows you and everyone and everything are eternal. That is the place from which we all aspire to live. That is the place of authenticity. That is the place of the true one reality. Most of the world is dreaming. Most of the world is asleep. Most of the world doesn't have the slightest inclination or idea that with one decision they can change and awaken to their magnificence. That is my hope for you. It is a process and an undertaking. Simple to do, not always easy. From experience it creates a lot of bumps and a lot of hurdles. But as I look back, I bless every bump and every hurdle and even some potholes, ditches, and sinkholes that I have fallen into. But with all that, the sun still shines on my face no matter what happens. Look for who you really are. Look for your authenticity. Let the sun shine on your face. Feel its warmth. Feel its love. Let it absorb into you. And realize that that same warmth and that same love are in you. Let it come out. Let it emerge, and when you say, I can't, realize it's just that you won't and that you're afraid. Question those fears and realize most of them are unfounded and come from habitual negative thinking, belief systems, and conditioning. You are always one with me and with everyone else. Know that and you will find your peace. Be that and you will change the world.